grandfather will continue to offer, offer it. it. We'll Which continue offering it, it to him. We'll continue offering it to him until it wears him down. Quick. Until he wears him down. <laughs> uh, Bill? Which camera is that? If you could just put it on Ralph's camera, I'll do the line. Grandfather will continue to offer it to him until it finally wears him down. Until, until he, he wears, wears him, wears down. him down. down. Grandfather will continue to offer it to him until he finally wears him down. Hello? Hey! Hey! Quick! 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 Grandfather will keep offering it to him until he finally was down. <laughs> You know, sometimes just getting one little word wrong can completely change the scene and the whole storyline. And that's what happens on One Life to Live. All right, this is the one with Ty Treadwell and uh, Darlene Vogel. And Ty's supposed to say, I'll never look at another woman as long as I live. Then when, Lanny? Look, the longer we're apart, the harder it is going to get. I am nothing without you. I swear to you, Lenny, I will never look at another man again. I... <laughs> uh, Tony Geary and Nancy Lee Grand. I really mean it this time. If we weren't anywhere near Windermere... <laughs> Here's some more actors that keep on going, even though they know they've messed up. Well, look who's here. I know them. That's Mark Duran and Patricia Elliott. Can a girl just go out for a drink? Well, not when that girl owns the classiest place in town, and she can drink her own 50-year-old vodka for free. Or bourbon. 50-year-old <laughs> vodka, 50-year-old bourbon tastes cheap when you drink them alone. Besides, I wouldn't have... <laughs> Lynn, you've done so many hours of daytime. I mean, in truth, you people are shooting a feature film every week. What's, what's the hardest part? Hmm. Well, you know, the middle of the scene, anybody can do. I think it's probably the getting in and then getting out of a scene. That's the problem. Take a look at this. And, oh, by the way, you know, should you ever change your mind and want a little more out of this marriage, you know? Let me know. <laughs> Where was it parked? Was that... The man with the gun is Galen Gehring. <laughs> well, the other big problem, I have this problem you can run into, is props. Now, you happen to know Russ Tamblin, don't you? Yeah, he's a great actor. Goes back to, uh, what was it, uh, West Side. Right. And he's amazing. He's a real professional. But you got to watch what happens in this scene where he plays a doctor. And by the way, the girl in the scene is his real-life daughter, Amber. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the problem? Uh, she, she cut her wrist. Why? Yeah, you, you certainly have. Yeah, how did this happen? Uh, we were we were hiking, and um, she fell on a broken bottle. It took me hours to get her for off the trail. Huh. Well, I'll tell you, it's a good thing you brought her straight here. Looks to me like a... Is this gonna be this, this gonna be a joke? <laughs> Watch Aaron Torpy and David Fumero keep going despite the blooper. Christian. Wow. <laughs> David Canary and Marcy Walker. I'm running late. I tell you, I have not gone over these figures for the WRCW budget meeting. My feet are killing me. I'm not going to make it. Lisa, no. you're about to give birth and you're about to become my wife. You deserve some. Ah! <laughs> I killed it. Lynn, I think one of the one of the really great things about daytime is that so many actors stay in. Uh, they grow with the shows. That is so true, and sometimes they start as little infants. For example, on General Hospital, Blake Hopkins, um, he plays Sarah Brown's red-headed son, and he's done it since he was a little baby. And here he is in a scene with Steve Burton. And now, she has got a... Yeah, I remember seeing this. What's wrong? Hmm? 
She's got a plan that might end up having you leave me for a while. Okay? But I'm gonna fight for that not to happen. I'm gonna fight. And even if it does, I'm gonna come after you. So when you don't see me, <laughs> I'm getting a vasectomy tonight. Now, a year or two has gone by, and Sarah's character, of course, on Soaps, is now involved with a new man, Maurice Bernard. Watch Maurice deal with a more grown-up Blake. See, what you gotta do, you want somebody to do what you want them to do, you convince them it's the best thing for them. And if that doesn't work... I want, I want to go get, I want to go get a donut. Well, you give them the donut, then you take away all their other options. How do you like that? You want this? Here. I got two airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, you are obviously a terrific source for bloopers. Would you, uh, would you come back again soon? Again well, and again and maybe, again? maybe, maybe again and again if you promise to come to Port Charles and be my husband number six. Number six? Mm, six. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn Herring, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sylvia. Oh, don't go away. We got some more bloopers coming up. Stay right where you are. Coming up, Jackie Chan. Bloopers from commercials, plus dog bites man, and you'll never guess where.